Welcome back to Dairy Airs. It's been a little bit, you guys. I got under the weather and I'll tell you what, kicked my butt. Anyway, I have been busy. I've been doing so many things, you guys. I had a really good deal on um, cherries at Meyer. It was a two-day sale, and it was a e they emailed me a message, and uh, it was the day of the sale, and then the next day they would also be for sale, and that was it. And so it was really hot that day, and it was like nobody was moving around much, and I was like, you know what? I bet you everybody's going to plan on going in the morning and getting those cherries. So I went ahead and went in at, at like uh, 9 o'clock that night and got 11 and a half pounds. So I just got done putting them all in jars. You guys, I have, these are half gallon jars. So I've got four half gallon jars of them. Ugh. Look at that, aren't they pretty? They're so pretty. I've got four of those. And then I put all the seeds in this one so I could get more juice. And then I can either make jam or jelly rather with this. Um, or I can just use it for making the gel. Or <laughs> I can just freeze it, <laughs> whichever, or can it, you know, whatever. But um, that makes me happy that I have it because I wanted to put back uh, cherry pie filling so bad. I couldn't stand it. I'm like, I gotta get that done. I wanna do it. But today, I'm gonna make some guacamole for you guys. Um, our family are guacamole freaks. We love it. So I'm over at mom's house today and I went and picked a bunch of peppers from the garden. Oh, this is my little jalapeno. But I went and got a bunch of them last night and uh, brought them all in the house. So I'm gonna have to pickle some peppers. And uh, we have baby bunnies born, you guys. So we've got five black roly-poly little baby bunnies and two that are white with black spots. So thrilled about that too. But yeah, the garden, starting to get a bunch of stuff out of the garden. So I got a big box of tomatoes as well that I'm gonna do. And then I'll do the video on the cherry pie filling probably next. And I also have beans that I need to put up. So we'll be doing the green beans. So I've got all kinds of stuff to do, but anyway, um, I'll show you today making some guacamole, so let's start. And I have gloves on because, to tell you the truth, the cherries did a number on my nails and my hands. I mean, they are stained bad. I should have been wearing these then, but I can't stand to wear gloves, but I didn't want to be looking bad on video, so I put gloves on. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is, hopefully these avocados will be in good shape. I'll tell you it was hard to find some decent avocados and I'm not sure these are decent, but yeah, that one's all right. We can do that for sure. Okay, spoon. Okay, whoop, see so yeah, ya, boy. Didn't even need to do that, it came right out. Oh, goodness. Okay, I also went to the Mexican grocery and I got some um, plates and bowls and all kinds of stuff from there because I love making Mexican food and I thought, you know what? I'd like to have some nice stuff to put it in. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So I got me a bunch of stuff. I got some plates and bowls and cups, and I got a really nice deep round bowl for, um, well, we had ice cream in it last night, so at least we know it works for that. Huh. All right, and this one too, because I am at mom's and I'm going to clean her house. Boy, that is the toughest skin ever. Um, and then she's gonna munch on guacamole while I'm busy cleaning the house. I'll give her something. Ooh, that doesn't look very good. I don't think we're gonna use that one. We'll just use that one. We'll just go with that. All right. Okay. That seems to be how it's been going lately with uh, buying guacamoles. And just kinda, you know, chunk your guacamole or your avocados up in your bowl. And usually I, chop them up pretty good, but today I think I'm gonna leave it kind of chunky. 
because that's kind of nice. Kind of a nice chunky one. So I like that once in a while. Good it gets for me. I'm kind of mushing it down a little bit. And then usually I do this in a big platter, but we're gonna go with it like this. Okay, we're gonna get the tomato out of the garden. This one came, our garden. Happy to have it. Get that spot out of it right there. Which isn't anything bad, but I don't like to serve that to people, so anyway. So I always just take my tomatoes, and I'm pretty picky um, when I'm doing something like this. So I like to take them, put them in slices, and then I just go ahead and cut them up, just like that. And it's probably about quarter inch squares, you know, dices, whatever. That's what I do. Okay. Not everybody makes guacamole different, and I do do it different for um, the family when we all get together, and I've done it this way for years. Not this way, but the way that I do it for the family unions is totally different because I put um, cream cheese in it, and they love it. I don't know if you've ever tried that, but oh my gosh, it's so good. So that's what I do. Now with this, I'm going to go ahead and put this around the edges like so. That way you can get it on your little chip if you want to. Probably one more slice will do it. One more slice. I like to have all the stuff in there. Um, we used to go get guacamole at a place called Chico and Eddie's when I was growing up and that was always um, on the West Lafayette. And um, sometimes I'd get off work and a girlfriend and I would go up there and we would sit there and enjoy the guacamole together. She's not with us anymore, but boy, we really had a good time. It was so good. And they put black olives in theirs and I absolutely loved it. Okay, so that's that. Now I am going to, I guess I'll wait for that. I've got this onion and this is a Vidalia onion and mom loves Vidalias. So I'm going to just dice it up here like this. And I'm gonna cut it off, kind of a thinner piece. Although we are onion freaks here, so you know, that's no big deal. Whether it's big or small, we're gonna eat it anyway. We love it. Sometimes um, when I use the other kind of uh, guacamole when I make it and I put that cream cheese in it, I uh, just mix it right in. Put the onions right in there, mix them right in, so. All right, that's that. Now the last part is, mom's not big on hot stuff. I mean, she likes it some, but she ain't crazy about it like I am. So I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna do a little bit. That's probably enough. Put that right in the middle, right there. Put it in the middle. There we go. Okay, now last but not least, Scoot that over here out of the way. I got a mess going, don't I? I'll tell you. All right. Last but not least, guys. Put some lime juice on it. All right. If I had garlic, I would put garlic in it, but I don't have any garlic with me today, but there you go. How bad is that? That is bad. That is bad, bad. Doesn't that look good? Look at my pretty little bowl. So I got the chips right here. Oh, I forgot the last little thing. One last little thing, y'all, which to me, you kind of have to have it. I mean, some people don't like it and you know what I'm probably going to say. I brought it from home, a whole handful of it. Got my great, my daughter's calling me, so I'm gonna have to get off here real quick. But anyway, cilantro. So I just take it. Cilantro, you kind of gotta be easy with because it does have a tendency to bruise very easily. 
and I kind of like the bigger pieces anyway, so I'm just going to kind of sprinkle that around the top here. And I even use the stems because, hey, it's good. Who cares, right? I don't. I love it. It's such a nice little ad. There we go. All right. That's it, guys. That is the guacamole. Mom's going to feast on that. And I'll make another one probably next week because I love making different dips. So that's that. Hope you make one and enjoy it. I mean, after all, while it's hot outside, you might as well stay inside with something that's really good, right? I'll see you guys later. Bye. Anyway, I hope you guys make some guacamole and have a great night. Just don't forget salt and pepper it to taste. I didn't put any in this one because some people always comment and say, you shouldn't put salt in there. Some people can't have it. Well, if you can't have salt, don't put it in there. If you can, put some in there to taste, whatever you like. Put some garlic salt in there even. I mean, why not? I mean, at home, when I'm doing this, I, I'll put like um, onion powder and garlic powder in there if I don't use my regular garlic, which I try to use that, but sometimes I really don't like it in something fresh like that, to have fresh garlic. So I will often use the garlic powder. And I also put a little chili powder in there too, just so you know. And sometimes cayenne as well. But <laughs> you do whatever you guys like and I hope you have a good one. Bye.